Hey everyone, uh, today is uh, April 5th, nope, April 6th, 2019. I just lost some points on my mental status exam. Um, obviously, I'm not home, <laughs> I'm still here. Um, the doctor came in this morning and we talked about, you know, courses of treatment while I'm at home and not not here. Um, oh dear. Um, and uh, we tried a little bit of that today and it kind of knocked me on my ass. Um, I usually have a pretty high pain tolerance, or medication tolerance rather, and uh, the medication that they gave me just literally wiped me out and I slept for three hours, which during the day I never sleep um, because I try and stay out of bed as much as possible um, so that I can't sleep at night, but then if I don't sleep at night then I get more tired and yeah, it's a vicious cycle. Nobody gets rest while they're in the hospital. It's constant things, go, go doctors, nurses, which is fine, they're doing their absolute best to take care of me, but sleeping is definitely not one of the, uh, one of the priorities on the list. Um, I'm doing okay, uh, my vitals are good, uh, they've got my heart rate under control, um, the pericardi pericarditis will stay for who knows how long and that's what's causing the majority of the pain in my chest and under my chest bone and my left collarbone. Um, people ask me how this all started and it started last January. Um, I had a cold that lasted like four days, um, got better and then woke up one morning and literally could not breathe. Uh, ended up going to the ER. I had pneumonia in all of the lobes of my lungs. Um, I was almost intubated um, and I stayed in the ICU for a week after that. So I thought, thought I was getting better, thought things were, you know, improving. Uh, and then I went back into the hospital because my heart was beating too fast. It's called atrial fibrillation. Uh, and my heart rate was 179. So they had to uh, uh, do a cardioversion, which is where they literally stop your heart by shocking it and then shocking it again um, to get the correct rhythm. And they didn't wait long enough between the time that they gave me the anesthesia, because you're put out completely, and to doing the shocks, because I remember everything about them. It was horrifying to feel your body not be your body anymore. It's just, it's hard. And I mean, that was scary for sure. And then the third time was pericarditis um, in hospital for a week again, uh, out of hospital for a little bit, and ended up back in with uh, lungs full of blood clots. And they're not sure if it's from the longer stay in ICU with lack of movement or if it, it's something that's predispositioned for me to have. They, they don't know, and they're still not quite sure. Um, but the diagnosis that they're looking at would definitely be sort of all-encompassing um, to a lot of those symptoms. So, like I said yesterday, uh, scared but hopeful um, that I can get back to the swing of things and not be here all the time because it's not fun <laughs> by any means. Um, yeah, my mom came for a visit today, which she comes every day. God bless her. I don't know how she does it. Um, the staff here are great. I can't complain. I don't bother them much, so it's not like, you know, everyone else here is on, like, intubated and um, my roommate is quite sick and um, yeah, it, that's why it would be nice to go home and just chill. <sighs> that's it for today. I, uh, might tape tomorrow, or t tonight even. I know I look like crap. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't be bothered while I'm here. Uh, oh, if you notice, I'm not wearing a uh, Johnny shirt. I'm wearing a regular shirt, uh, because I did not want to wear a gown anymore, other than when I'm sleeping. And then... If you notice too, I'll come closer. Oh girl, oh geez. Uh, I had to take my piercings out 
because I had an MRI yesterday and I was so upset because they close really quickly on me and um, especially this one here, it's like a weird uh, shape to it. Um, I had to take them out and uh, because of the fact that I'll probably be having many MRIs in the future, I uh, am not gonna put them back in, which means I am piercing less for the first time in decades. Which is fine. It is what it is, you know. This is gonna change a lot of aspects of my life and I just gotta roll with the punches because if I don't it's it's gonna destroy me. So dinner should be soon, it's four thirty. Mom actually brought me a fruit tray and stuff. because um, you get tired of fake vegetables and whatever else they serve you. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Um, the more you do, the more you share. Uh, the more I get uh, my message out there, which may not be clear right now, but will be clear within hopefully the next month or so. Um, so that's it for right now. I hope you have a good dinner. <laughs> I don't know what mine's going to be, but uh, we'll check. And um, just trying to keep a positive attitude. So uh, again, questions, anything, ask, no problem. Okay?